This is an audio demonstration of the trill threshold, a phenomenon that was studied by Miller and Heise back in 1950. It involves two tones that oscillate back and forth. Let's start with a relatively slow oscillation between notes a perfect fifth apart. It's easy to follow this signal as it moves up and down. It sounds like one thing, like maybe a police siren or something equally annoying. However, if we speed up this oscillation, this pattern is going to split apart into two streams, and it'll be more difficult to hear as one thing. At this rapid rate, our signal presents two pulses that pop out, a high one and a low one. One can still hear an alternation between the two streams that sounds like 16th notes, but it takes some concentration. I find that if you purposely try to shift your attention from the top stream to the bottom or vice versa, one has the confusing impression that the pulses are drifting out of sync. I'll just play our perfect fifth alternation a little more so that you can test that. However, Miller and Heiss have found that if we move these two pitches closer together, they will fuse back into a single stream. Now you hear that our alternation sounds like one thing again, and it's more difficult to pick out the individual pulses. Miller and Heise called the point at which two pulses fuse together the trill threshold, and they found it to be equivalent to about a 15% difference in frequency. That's a musical interval that lies somewhere between a major second and a minor third. Let's listen to our alternating stimulus one more time as it contracts and expands. I think you can hear a clear qualitative difference as it enters and leaves this zone. The trill threshold is important in music because it creates a distinction between steps and leaps. If one keeps notes within this small interval, they will sound connected but if they are further apart, they may sound disconnected. 